Lord Saints, how's everyone today? Today, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today, I'm coming to you with the meaning of Psalms 23. A lot of times, a lot of people know Psalms 23 by heart. That's one of the Psalms that's in the Bible that, that people tend to memorize. And I want to give you a breakdown of the meaning of Psalms 23. So if you want to know who wrote Psalms 23, it was King David. King David wrote Psalms 23. He described, he was described in the Bible as the second king of the United Kingdom of Israel and Judah. David is a young shepherd who first gained fame as a musician and later was and later by killing Goliath. And he became a favorite of King Saul and a close friend of Saul's son Jonathan. So we have Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. The shepherd is the person that watches over you. The shepherd is the person whose job is to take care of his flock and move them from one place to another. So the Lord is my shepherd. So God is over top of us. He watches over us. And that's how we have a relationship with God. I shall not want. That's your supply. We, we, we do not have to want for anything with God over us as our shepherd. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He provides food and our needs for us. He leadeth me beside the still waters. That's refreshment for our souls. He restores my soul. That's healing. God has healing over us for our iniquities, our hurt, our pain, our sorrows. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. That's guidance. God is our guide. He's our strength, he's our guide, our way maker. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. That's our testing. God tests our faith for him. I will fear no evil. That's your protection. God has his protection over our lives. For thou art with me. That's his faithfulness. God is faithful and just to forgive us. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. That's discipline. He disciplines the children that he loves. He chastens us. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. That's hope. God gives us hope for tomorrow. Thou anointest my head with oil. That's consecration. That's the anointing that he has over our lives. My cup runneth over. That's the abundance. He gives us grace and abundance of love. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. That's security and his blessing over us. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Forever, forever is eternity. Forever and ever. God say he will be with us to the end of the age. He say he will never forsake us nor leave us so you do not have to worry because God has you God is there for you in the time of need in the time of struggle he is there so I'm going to talk about God says the Lord is my shepherd so we said in the beginning that the shepherd tends to his sheep we are God's sheep and he's over top of us so he moves us from one place to another. He can move us from the pit to the palace or to the palace to the pit. He can move us towards him for his glory, for his kingdom, and to do his will. Now the shepherd, I have several scriptures pertaining to shepherd, what the Bible says about a shepherd. I have Psalms 95, 7. 
It says, For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and sheep of his hand today. If you would hear his voice. Psalm 79, 13. So we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture will give thanks to you forever. To all generations we will tell of your praise. Psalms 103. Know that the Lord himself is God. It is he who has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. So we must know that we did not make ourselves. God made us. He's our creator. We are his creations. And without him, we are nothing. With him, we're everything. Thank God for that. Ezekiel 34, 31. As for you, my sheep, the sheep of my pasture, you are men and I am your God, declares the Lord God. Meaning that we're not his God, he's our God. He's God above all of us. Luke 12, 32. Do not be afraid, little flock, for your father has chosen gladly to give you the kingdom. So God is telling us not to be afraid. He doesn't want us to be in fear. He said we, we are not fear. We are not to fear anyone. He says we are not to be afraid. Because he has set up his kingdom for us. If we obey him and walk in his will and his way and do his will and be doers of his word, not just hearers of his word. The kingdom is there for us. He prepared a place for us. Acts 20, 28 through 29. Be on guard for yourselves and for all the flock among which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to shepherd the church of God, which he purchased with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock. So here God is explaining to us that we are to be the overseers of the church. And God knows that there are ravening wolves, our adversaries, the devil, that try to come up against us every day. He's for, God's telling us this here now, that even though the wolves are at our door, at our feet, chipping at us, trying to chip at our life, trying to discourage us, distract us, God is saying that we are covered with his blood. And to not worry because his, his power in Jesus' blood is wonderful power in his blood in the blood of Jesus and his power in the name of Jesus. So Psalms not, Psalms 23 is a psalm that comfort people. It's a psalm that you could just recite over and over again whenever you're in time of struggle. Whenever you are in time of need, whenever you are in time of want, God is there for us. So we can recite this over and over again, morning, noon, night, evening, you know, whenever you want to. Psalms 23 is the Psalm of David, and it's a psalm that makes us feel better, you know, no matter what we're going through. You know, sorrowful, hurt, pain, strife, stress, anxiety. Psalms 23 is the psalm that can give you the comfort of God, the peace of God, the strength of God, the protection of God, the faithfulness of God, the comfort of God. You know, the abundance. He gives us life abundantly. You know, he gives us hope for tomorrow. His anointing is over our lives. You know, with God's anointing on your life, you know, that's what you want. His protection over you. When you step out the door to have God's protection on you, on your life, no matter what comes up against you, no matter what struggle that you go through, God's protection is around you. There's comfort in knowing that 
God is everything. He's everything we need him to be. You know, he's our doctor. He's our lawyer. He's our best friend. He's our comforter. He's our keeper. God is just everything. You know, and he brings us joy. You know, inside, no matter what is going on out here in this world, all these things that people put so much emphasis in, you know, we're, we're not to focus on this world. Because if we put our mind on this world, we'll have so much stress and anxiety and discomfort and distrust and unbelief. But when we put our eyes on God, each and every day just be in some kind of relationship, a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. That's what he wants from us. God loves us. He loves us, everybody. He is just an awesome God. And just thank God each and every day, you know, whether you're up or down, down or up. God is able. He's merciful. His ways are not our ways. His ways are higher than our ways. We don't always understand, you know, why things happen and why they're allowed to happen. But his, his ways are not ours. He knows what's best for us. We just have to trust and believe that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him and seek his face continually. You know, God is everything. He's our father, our, our provider. You know, he takes our burdens away from us. Give them to him to carry. You know, he, he is awesome, God. So I just pray that everyone just... Walk with God, talk with God, and speak things as though they are. You know, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen, everybody. You know, we, we can't see the things that we see on earth. It's temporary. This stuff is going to be gone. He's going to create a new heaven and a new earth. You know, we, we are to put our thoughts in things eternal. Eternal joy, eternal life that God has for us. We could just smell the beautiful flowers and see all the beautiful great colors that God has up there in heaven waiting on us. And we can see our Lord and Savior. He, we can see our healer, our comforter, our prince of peace, the king of kings. The wonderful counselor, the almighty God. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing the Lord Jesus Christ and praising him forever, continually. So I pray for each and every one of you today that you just read Psalms 23 and know that God is everything for us that we need. He's everything. You know, our comfort of everything. You know, so do not be dismayed because you might be having a bad day. You know, but God, He's awesome. Just put your trust in Him. He has us in His hands. He never leave us nor forsake us. I thank everybody for hearing this message. Go in peace and remember to thank God. Give God thanks because he's the almighty God. Thank you. Have a good day.